What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and in today's video, we'll be covering more easy shiny hunting locations for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's episode, we're gonna be featuring the Pokemon Cacnea, and this is gonna be really exciting because we have not covered Cacnea on the channel before. Of course, guys, if you like these types of videos, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. To begin this video guide, we're gonna be starting off at the Water Gym City, and I'm just pretty much right outside the Pokemon Center right here. Now from here, I'm actually gonna go straight across to this big rock, and we're actually gonna be doing a picnic reset in front of this rock. Now the desert is a weird location because there are multiple grass types, there's multiple ground types, but they don't all spawn within the same area. Funny enough that Cacnea is only really around this part of the desert from about here to here is the Cacnea zone and even something like sand dial is more like over here in the desert but you wouldn't find any over here so there's a lot of interesting spawns in the desert but this is a really good spot to hunt for Cacnea there's only a caspa kid that will also spawn with this method so it's going to be the best way to actually reset for it and i like this method more than running around for this hunt so once you're at this wall right here you are at the perfect spot. Now we are just going to one, obviously save our game. You always wanna save your game before doing any sort of Urban Mystica hunting or picnic resetting hunting. The reason is if you make a sandwich, you make a mistake, well, you can just reload your save, you're good to go, or you don't get the shiny in 30 minutes, you get your herbs back and can try it all over again and you didn't waste any herbs. So now that we have that set up, we're gonna set up a picnic right here. You don't wanna to be too close to the wall or you make it the message where it's like, oh, you can't set up a picnic. Just keep that in mind. So our first sandwich is going to be a grass type sandwich because Cacnea is a grass type Pokemon and it's unfortunately not as grass darky just yet. So we're going to have to do a grass type sandwich. Now we're going to use one piece of lettuce, one salty and one sour and that's going to be the easiest sandwich. Of course you could use one pickle, one cucumber, three pieces of lettuce and pretty much any two Urban Mystica to make the sandwich. If you wanna do it the longer way and you don't have the exact herbs I showed off, then that's gonna be your next best recipe. And there we go, we got Sparkling, Tidal, and Counter Power level three for grass type Pokemon and ready to begin this hunt. So the shinies for both of these Pokemon are gonna be incredibly easy. Cacnea is gonna be more of like a sand color and you're gonna be getting so many more Cacneas if you actually face your camera this way. So I do recommend the positioning to be more looking towards away from the city, but more towards the backside of the desert. And then you'll be able to get way more Cacneas. You do get some Caspa kids in here. If you were looking more over here behind you, you'd be getting more Caspa kids. So keep that in mind that yes, your camera angle does matter for the spawns. As I said, the Cacnea shiny is gonna be like a sand, dried out plant color. It's actually a really badass shiny. I'm definitely a big fan, which is which is why I'm really excited to be making this video. Caspa Kid is gonna be like a yellow pepper. So that's gonna be really easy to find as well. It's just like, okay, it's just a yellow guy walking around. So both of them relatively easy to see. And with a shiny charm and a shiny sandwich, you should be able to get both of them within a sandwich or two, depending on your RNG, of course and hopefully we can get it here within the first sandwich. It only took us about 15 minutes to get it, but there we go, shiny Cacnea on the back right there. Very obvious. I actually wasn't sure exactly what that was at first. I was like, is that a fiddle in the background? But nope, that's a shiny Cacnea. It honestly, my first time seeing one in the game, this thing looks beautiful. I'm a huge fan of this guy. So there we go. That is a shiny Cacnea hunt. And of course, if you wanna get Caspa Kid as well, you can try this location too and keep your hunt going. Or you can go for the full shiny family here too by trying to get a second one of these. But I will say that Cacnea definitely is the premier hunt of this location. I do want to give a shout out here to Liz on Discord for letting me know of this location because I wouldn't have known otherwise. So thank you so much, Liz, for that. Now for our next shiny hunt, we're going to be going for a bug type or a fire type sandwich. Both of these are going to work, but I'm going to make the bug type sandwich here with a cherry tomato and then two salties. And with this, we're gonna be able to hunt for Larvesta. There we have it, sparkling title and counter power level three for bug type Pokemon and ready to begin this hunt. Similar to the previous hunt, we're just gonna pan the camera and look around. And just like that, within the first reset, we got ourselves a shiny Larvesta right here. I mean, the 15 spawns are here, clearly bug type sandwich works. Fire's gonna work too, and there we go. Shiny Larvesta, definitely one of the better shinies in the game. 
And Shiny Full Corona is absolutely phenomenal. So this is definitely going to be one of the better spots to hunt it if you don't want to go up on top of the mountain as well. Because that's another good spot, but this one you're much closer to the Pokemon too. So there we go. And now let's move on to our next Shiny Hunt. Now I'll say for the rest of these hunts, you can actually do them at the Town Reset spot at the water type city so if you want to check out that video and see how i did it there you can but i'm going to fully complete this spot in this video so we're going to be doing a rock type sandwich next which is going to be one jalapenos and two salties and this is going to be pokemon scarlet exclusive there we go level three for sparkling title and counter power for rock type pokemon and once again this is pokemon scarlet only and you'll be able to get stone journer spawning all around you very easy hunt they are going to be big so it's going to be super easy to tell the shiny instead of the stone gray bodies they're going to have a stone black body and the spots are going to be a, like a lighter color too so it's going to be super easy for you to notice on this hunt and as i mentioned before you can also do this hunt as a town reset which is faster than a picnic hunt, but you know, I just still wanted to show it off here just in case, just in case you wanted to keep doing this hunt here. And for our next hunt, we're gonna be making a steel type sandwich by using one hamburger, one salty, and one sweet. And now we have sparkling title and counter level three for steel type Pokemon. And we'll be able to hunt for Orphworm here. Now Orphworm shiny is gonna be incredibly obvious. It's going to be blue instead of that red. So it's gonna be pretty bright and easy to see whether it's daytime or uh, nighttime and once again this is one that you can do the town reset or pretty much hunt it anywhere else in the desert too this is not exclusive necessarily to this one spot in the desert either for our next hunt we're gonna be going for a psychic type sandwich with an onion and two salties there we go sparkling title and counter level three for psychic type pokemon and we're gonna be getting a bunch of fiddles spawning around us now fiddle is a small pokemon so it can be a little bit hard to see especially when we get a sandstorm but the big tell on shiny fiddle is that instead of that pink around it it's gonna have like a neon green skirt so watch out for that but i can't imagine that it's gonna be pretty hard in a sandstorm so keep that in mind and once again this is another hunt that you can do the town reset right across from there if you prefer to do a town reset instead of a picnic reset at this spot but that's gonna be up to you and now for our last good shiny hunt for our last good shiny hunt in this location we're gonna be making a normal type sandwich with one chorizo and two salties there we go sparkling level three title level three and encounter level three for normal and we're gonna be able to get rufflet with this now rufflet will spawn in clusters around which is actually relatively nice they can be to your left to your right and shiny rufflet is going to be brown which is going to be very easy to notice a little bit tougher when there is once again a sandstorm up and nighttime doesn't make it as easy as possible but it's still very noticeable when you do happen to see the shiny for rufflet and there you have it guys that's gonna be our last good shiny hunt in this location i was thinking about maybe doing the ground type sandwich but the reality is you're gonna get both Fambi and silicobra and i just don't think it's a good hunt for really either of them and you are better off of a town reset on that one too but even then it's still not a great hunt for either of them so there you have it guys those are all the shiny hunts for this video and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like subscribe if you're new i really appreciate it and if you have any other good shiny hunting locations please let me know in discord or in the youtube comment section below and i may make a video on it and give you some credit anyways peace out and have a good one